Port Address Translation, or PAT, works similarly to port forwarding, with the exception that PAT allows mapping of different external or internal ports in order to allow multiple devices on a LAN to be mapped to a single public IP address. We'll talk about how to configure port address translation on RV345 routers on this edition of Tech Talks, next. To start off, we'll log into the web management utility for our RV345 VPN router. Once we're logged in, we'll navigate to the service management section under the system configuration tab in the menu on the left-hand side. Here, we'll click add under the service table to add a service. For the purpose of this video, I'll name our service test. We'll assign it to port 8080 with our protocol set to TCP. Port 8080 is an external port, which we will want to translate to internal port 8443. Hit apply to create the service. In order to combine our service to port forwarding, we'll go to the firewall tab and select port forwarding, then click add. Here, we'll choose our service from external and internal service dropdown menus and add the IP address of the device that we need to forward to. Once you're done, click apply. And just like that, we've configured port address translation on our RV345 VPN router. Thanks for watching Tech Talks from Cisco. We'll see you next time.